Welcome back, viewers. So here we are on our secret meadow, picking up the uh, the grass that we've we've mown. So we'll get ourselves a few bales out of this, take them back to the sheep's. Then we're looking to um, <coughs> perhaps getting rid of that tree in the middle of the the field and uh, turning this into an actual field with a plough. That way we can actually plant proper grass, fertilise it, use machines, use workers, that sort of thing. At the moment if you try to use a worker it says they don't recognise it as a field, but that's okay. We can, um, we can address that. So this is a good, good little bonus. Quite a few bales here. Drop those in and happy sheep. Like I've said before, we can alternate between grass and hay. We turn it into a field, we can plant crops, whichever we need at the time. So I'll take these over and drop them off. We might work on that tree. the corn. Oh, ooh, almost made the gate. Anyway, so so I've saved you having to watch me chainsaw, but here we are down at the lumber yard with our beautifully packed, as you can see I'm a professional um, lock packer, just going by the look of that trailer full. Done it professionally in the past. That's a joke, but yeah. Um, how we drive in here I think I haven't brought any wood here before so let's see what happens here this trailer's got one of those dicky hitches on it so let's see if we can sell any here well there goes some of it but I can still see all that leafy bits so we haven't got rid of all of it what I mean about reversing with this thing, look at that, jackknife straight away as soon as you look at it. We're having a shocker. <laughs> anyway, we'll get it done. Look at that, oh. Get in there. All I need to do is get it a little bit closer and we'll be laughing. Come on, get around there. Get a long little doggy. Let me right, look at this. This is why I don't do logging. Because <laughs> I'm dreadful at it. Anyway, come on. Sell, 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 sell. Here, yeah, one left. Can I grab that one? That's not going to help. Fair dinkum. <laughs> this is gold, this. Might have parked a little close. Okay, so what if we move a little? That's what we'll do. Yeah, now we're thinking. Oh, get out of it. No, I don't want to put a strap on it. I don't want to pick it up. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Yeah! Probably worth like eight bucks or something. Thank God for that. Hopefully that'll be the last tree we'll come across. Let's get out of here and move on to the next bit. Oh, here we go. This is even better. We've got the stump grinder. Have a go at this thing. What a piece of shit. 
I can't understand, like it's it's got the most ridiculous movements there. But yeah. Could somebody please, if you know how to do mods, could you bring back the T-Rex? The T-Rex was fantastic. I loved the T-Rex, it was my favourite machine. You could make fields, you could down trees, you could get rid of stumps, you could do everything. This is absolutely dreadful. And again, maybe I'm just terrible with it, which is more likely the case. But, um, yeah. Anyway, we're almost done. Starting to get the feel, and I should have left the tree in the middle there. There's pigs over here to wander around under it, but... Oh, my God. I'm sure if I keep driving at least sooner or later they'll disappear. But um, yeah, as per the title, this is why I don't do logging. I find it very tedious and I don't know, there's machines on this FS22 that don't work as good as they're supposed to. I'm sure you could work this. If you knew what you were doing, this would probably work alright. But anyway, it is what it is. Couple to go, come on. We go back about our business. See that bit there, that little tiny bit? Apparently that's too heavy to pick up. <laughs> Either need a T Rex or a the strong arm mod. Oh look out. But yeah. Seems unbelievable. But we'll keep working away until we get it done and then we'll move on to whatever the next job is. Maybe I should put it on the back. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? Well, thank God for that. We finally got rid of that. That was absolutely dreadful. But here we are now. We're cutting out the outside of our field. Now we're using a, um, it's a lizard plough. $17,000. I think it's, uh, between six and nine metre widths and if you run it back to front it actually goes faster so don't ask me how that works but I have mentioned this before in previous um, previous episodes so we just line it up like that and then you just try not to touch your controls at all and away she goes the less you touch it the less crooked you go take off down here and look at that Beautiful. The only thing is we're turning up stones. Which is ironic because they're only small and we could have rolled them in, but um, guess what we just did? We just sold our roller. So that turned out to be a good career move. So we'll have to hire one. I suppose I'm not going to buy a stone picker because they're 52000 for the decent one. And I haven't got anywhere to take them to anyway. I suppose there's just, there'd be a stone crusher somewhere. But, um, yeah, that's getting a bit crooked there, but that's okay, we'll head back over. If maybe we can really come along that edge, or we'll have a look at how straight it is when we get to the other end. But yeah, this is fancy selling your roller and then need one the very next day. Unbelievable. Reminds me of the time when I got 24 cans of dog food cheap and then my dog ran away. The very next day. Although, that story ended well, or I suppose well. I did get him back from the pound, and it only cost me $480. So, yeah. But anyway, that's irony for you. Seems to follow me, but anyway. It is what it is. We'll get another roller. Just roll those stones in. And, uh, yeah, everything will be cool. We'll be back on our way. Like I said we'll uh, maybe plant a bit of grass here, get the edge done. Roll it, plant some grass, might do the edge in a bit of meadow or a bit of grass stuff, a bit of dirt, just so otherwise um, they tend to go over the edges if you put it on workers they'll plough past the edge, it ends up looking terrible, so, um, so far we're going okay, we'll just head up here, I think it's going relatively straight, yeah that's not too bad. It's a bit curvy along here. 
but we'll work it out in the end. So it's another one of those fields that runs. So there is, sometimes if you get the fields that run dead straight along the lines, you can actually get one of the plough sort of tines in the furrow and just follow that furrow and you can do dead straight beautiful fields. But because of the angle, all these fields, I don't know how they work it out. See that's changed angle now. Yeah, the, ang the angle can be um, quite hard to follow sometimes, so it's changed again. But, like I said, less control is more control, so you just don't touch it too much and it doesn't work out too bad. But we'll get this, this colouring in, we'll do some colouring in, and then um, we'll be ready for the next stage. That we went and hired the roller that we just sold. <laughs> That's rolling the stones nicely, so we'll get that done and then we'll consider um, doing some planning. Not really good on northern hemisphere seasons, but I'd say it's got to be autumn going on the colour of the trees. And as I've noticed before, at least they're not all one terrible vibrant orange, there's a bit of mixture in there. Never seem to have evergreen trees. Surely there's evergreen trees in Where's Carlton Farm? Is that English based? Surely there's evergreen trees over in England in there. I think I'd throw a couple of those in here and there. But what do you do? We'll go and check on the animals. Chickens are good, sheep's are good. So yeah, looks like the animals are the updated larger feeding things help. So I'm flicking around here just having a look at the farm. Go over and check if we've got any eggs. We're coming up November, great time to sell eggs. Remember that, write that down. Not that anybody writes anything down anymore, but yeah, put it on your memo notes on your iPhone, November for eggs. Doesn't look like we've got any. How long have we had these chooks for? What's going on? Well, I do only buy the young ones because, you know, otherwise I'd consider it a waste of money, but yeah. Unless you want instant eggs, but there's no eggs there, so we don't have to worry about those. So it looks like we'll just be selling our canola, but that should get us through. So we'll head back over and we'll get ourselves a planter and we might start planting some grass. Here we come down the secret laneway. There's our magnificent field completed. Start doing some grass and uh, yeah, talk about kicking goals. We're going fantastic. Sometimes I wonder about my eyesight with this, um, you know, sort of trying to line things up. It's like I've got one eye is an inch higher than the other or something. Or maybe a bit skew with, might have a walk eye. But I don't really know about, but yeah. Anyway, we're almost at the end of another episode. I can't believe it. They really fly. Uh, as always, stay safe. Thanks for watching. With a bit of luck, I'll see you again next time.